I'm a perfectionist because of stop motion. You take a picture, and then you move the thing a tiny bit, and then you take a picture, and you move the thing a tiny bit more, and then you take another picture, and then you move the thing a tiny, teeny bit more. 10,000 frames for 10 minutes. 10 minute video that got half a million views and then got taken down by YouTube because we used Jimi Hendrix in the climax. The thing is with Lego people, they can't do anything wrong. They do exactly what you expect them to do. It's a perfectionist dream. It's an immense power to give to an eight year old kid. Somewhere along the line, I ended up going to film college. I started making these really surreal, really weird, bizarre films. Each just got more and more abstract and strange and very loosely followed uh, a sort of story. I didn't really want to acknowledge it ever. I kind of just thought, nah, I can just, I can do my own thing. I, I don't need to follow a, a set of rules. It was the, the opposite end of being able to control everything was by almost just saying, no, I can control nothing. It wouldn't be perfect like with the Lego people, but it would be... Mm, the recipe for making perfect experimental film for me was buy a fish head mask and uh, go to an abattoir. Who, who am I talking to? You know, sometimes it turns out really cool and they're really fun to make, but you don't play by the rules then you can't really play the game so that's where I was I was just living with this unwillingness to actually learn this wasn't just can I write a compelling story this was my life this is my life if I can't figure this out then I'm gonna be broke penniless and alone at worst and miserable at best I felt like there was no point in trying something new if I couldn't have complete control over it if I couldn't get perfect yeah weird way of being because I, I just didn't want to grow then in some low quality zoom call with my lecturer about my dissertation i was told one piece of advice that was actually really good probably the only bit of good advice that i ever got at uni which was do it badly do it badly first because then you have something to work with and to me this was such great advice. For some reason, this is just one thing that completely clicked with me. But what this really meant was I solved one problem, but created about 500 million more because once you solve one problem, then this target of perfection just gets further and further away. Without knowing what I was aiming at, I would just continually be frustrated because I wouldn't know when to stop. It's funny that I'm trying to make a video about perfectionism, but I'm obsessed with making this video perfect. Then about six months later, I think I've figured out two things that are helping me navigate perfection. One is that the world, the external world, has been trying to tell me what perfect is ever since I can remember. The external world is never going to stop trying to tell you who you are. And if you ask the, the world who you are, it will give you an answer. It will give you plenty of answers of, of people that you could be. But are you really creating your own life that way? Or are you just painting by numbers? And I knew that I didn't want to paint by numbers. And the second is that I unconsciously created this ideal of the perfect George, a person who could create work that I was proud of, and probably a lot more. But I had no idea who he really was, and I had no idea how to, to get there. This, this ideal was vague at best. If I sat down and thought about it, maybe I could start to work out who I actually was and take some steps towards becoming that person. So going forward, I don't want to get lost in the minutiae of every project. I want to try and be the best version of me possible. I'm still not that sure what perfect actually means to me. I know it isn't a fish head or an abattoir or a detail or a Lego person. 
That's what I'm working on now. Trying to work out exactly who this person is that I want to be. And that'll probably change. It's a person who takes his camera and tripod out to a field and, and talks to his phone. <laughs> okay. See you later.